Lee, now the dust has settled on uh, on Friday night. You've got a big game on the weekend, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, just a bit. Um, yeah, to go back to Friday, it was a, it was a very professional performance. Uh, sort of replicated what we've been doing the previous two months, just working hard for each other, nothing flashy. Uh, and to be fair, it's that sort of rugby that suits this time of year. And uh, yeah, like you say, we've got one more big one this week. And uh, coming up against a pretty impressive forward unit in St. Helens next week, but the way that, that you guys in the middle performed on Friday must be give you some confidence going into that. Yeah, it does, yeah. Uh, and to be fair, we felt like we've had a pretty solid um, season, to be honest, as a middle unit. Uh, we played Saints a couple of times this year. That, that They've won us both times, but we feel we've went toe-to-toe -to -toe with their middles, the likes of Lou Thompson, Wormsley. Obviously, Matt Elise has got injured, but the three outstanding middles, and uh, you, you have to be on your game. Uh, I think they showed last week against Wigan. If you're not on your game and you don't match them, then there's only one outcome. So um, we're going to speak. We've spoke about already this week. We, we have to match them with uh, fire with fire, and uh, we'll see where it takes us. And you're one of the boys in this group that's been here before, but realistically, did you ever think you'd get here again? Yes and no. Uh, obviously, at the start of the year, we, we set our goals and we really bought into that. We all thought, felt that um, if we reached our potential, we could, but obviously, with the way we started the season, that seemed like a probably uh, an unrealistic target, should we say. It looked like it was there was no chance of making here, but... Uh, for whatever reason, something seemed to click about three months ago, and we've just gone from strength to strength. So um, we do, re we feel we're here on merit. And a nice big wide pitch, good playing surface. Does that suit the way that you guys play, particularly with the halfbacks that you've got? Uh, yeah, of course it does. Yeah, uh, we've got two class halfbacks, two class hookers, uh, and we like to throw the ball about. Our coach gives us that that sort of free reign, if you like to do that. Um, but I think it's all dependent on weather. Um, Notoriously, at this time of the year, it's a bit like it is now, raining, uh, and it seems to have become a, a forwards battle. Uh, but if that's the way it goes, then uh, we'll hopefully be ready. And uh, a pretty impressive away following on Friday night from the Salford fans that have responded again with ticket sales. Uh, should be a pretty special atmosphere in here on Saturday night. Oh, without a doubt, mate. The last the last two times we've been uh, at Wigan, the last couple of weeks, have been absolutely unbelievable. Uh, I think the first time we went, we sold about 3,500, and then last week we sold it out. They are they're a very special group of fans. Uh, they're passionate, they wear the heart on the sleeves, and uh, we love playing behind them. And have you allowed yourself to think about what it might feel like if you're lifting that trophy here at about 8 o'clock on Saturday night? Yeah, 100% I have, mate. It's been over my head about 500 times already. Um, yeah, there's no, there's no two ways about it. It'll be, it'll be the pinnacle of my career. Um, and yeah, I, I've, I've started to, I've dared to dream. Um, but there's a lot of hard work before now on Saturday uh, and obviously the 80 minutes on Saturday uh, will be massive and we've got a massive job ahead of us. Thank you mate, good luck. Nice one, thank you.